Now, in our culture, a lot of us, we don't understand all the difference between certain phrases in the Scripture. And we often talk about sin. Sometimes we talk about transgression. Sometimes we talk about iniquities. And sometimes we just kind of bunch them all together. But each one has a different meaning. And each one leads you through a progression of something that's not good. So let me give you the three biblical words when it talks about sin. First of all, sin just simply means missing the mark. Every one of us sins without fail. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin is missing the mark. It's a picture of a person aiming at a target and missing the bullseye. Every one of us will stumble in sin. Every one of us will think in terms of sin. We all have that that, that propensity because we have a sinful nature. So sin, general sense, is missing the mark. But the second word for sin is transgression. It goes a little deeper. Transgression is crossing a known boundary. It's when I know that there's a boundary there and I choose to walk across it. It's like a fence that says no trespassing, but you climb over it. It's like a sign on a wall that says wet paint, do not touch, and you always touch it. Because it's a known boundary. Sometimes we cross boundaries and we don't even know that that boundary is there, but it is crossing a known boundary. That is transgression. Now, it's one thing to sin. It's one thing to walk across a known boundary. But iniquity is altogether different. Iniquity is a premeditated choice to continue in sin without repentance. It is a premeditated choice where I am going to walk in sin and I'm going to keep doing it and I'm not going to repent from it. And when I begin to do that, then I become like the people of Israel. Because the people in Amos' day were the people who had great privileges. They had the truth, but there was no spiritual reality. They were not walking according to the truth, but they were walking in iniquities. They were premeditating their lives in disobedience towards God, and they would not confess or acknowledge that what they were doing was sinful. Sinful. 